Skepticism is not very secret. It is found in everyday life. If we have to buy a used car, we use some skepticism powers. We examine it whether we know it well or not. If we don't use some minimal skepticism, and if we accept it without questioning, we will have to pay for it later. We do not have to learn it at school. Everybody understands this. We do not use our skeptical power in all areas equally. When we have to buy aspirin tablets, we buy them without questioning. In that case, we many have to pay a bit more. That's all. In some cases, accepting things without examining may be really harmful. If we study human history of any period, we find a set of popular belief system. Some of them changes very quickly, others after a few years. Sometimes they may last longer. These beliefs are about unfulfilled real human needs. They are unsatisfied medical needs, spiritual needs, and communicative needs. For example, talking to the soul of the dead person. Everybody wants to make contact with the loved ones who have died. Some persons claims that they can find where mineral or petroleum deposits are. Others claim that they have been in contact with beings and UFOs from others' worlds. An American woman claims to make a contact with a 35,000 year old male named Ramtha. In that case, we would learn a lot from him. From the advanced extraterrestrial, we could learn advanced things. But we can get no answer from them if we them anything specific. If we ask them anything vague, we always get the answer. The truth is very cruel and false belief is no more comforting. Therefore, credulity develops unchecked. Skepticism challenges established customs. Therefore, skepticism is dangerous and not taught in the schools. But this is the elementary intellectual tool to go through a very dangerous future. We should not make fun of those who cannot think clearly. Skepticism and great openness to new ideas both are equally necessary. If we follow just one of them, we will be in deep trouble. If we are only skeptical, no new idea. If we are too much skeptical, we shall not get it and it will disturb our understanding and progress. On the other hand, if we are too open and do not doubt at all, we cannot distinguish the useful ideas from the useless ones. If all ideas seem equally valid to us, then no ideas will be valid. Some ideas are better than the others. Skepticism is the necessary tool to know the differences. These two ways of thought have played a great role in the success of sciences. First scientific take a number of new ideas and criticize them others. Other scientists may criticize them. Sometimes ideas accepted by all may feel a personal loss in the case. When his ideas are proved wrong, the scientist will accept his mistake and changes his mind. But politics or religion, people never change their position after hearing good argument.